Once again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Alright, so on this trailer, X Men Apocalypse. Let's see what they have in store for us now. From Brian Singer, the director who successfully launched the X Men left when things got bad, <laughs> came back after Matthew Vaughn fixed it, and mm -hmm. sort of tied it all together, comes the next installment in the franchise. And it's bad again. <laughs> X-Men oh. Apocalypse. Strap in for the sequel to the sequel of the reboot prequel that continues the decade-hopping gimmick for no reason. Welcome to the 80s. As the timeline they more or less sorted out in the last movie completely craps the bed, featuring characters who haven't aged a day in 21 years, characters who have 10 years before they look like Patrick Stewart, and characters where they just said, fuck it, Hugh Jackman's gonna be in this thing whether it makes sense or not. But there's one thing this movie <laughs> Kinda, makes yeah. crystal clear Deadpool is all Fox has left. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> Forget what you know about the X-Men from the comics, animated series, or previous movies, because so did Brian Singer, as Cyclops is a rebel for some reason. Psylocke is an evil bodyguard? Everything all right? I'm fine, Psylocke. Angel is a Russian cage fighter? And Mystique is the team leader? What? Wasn't she evil like one movie ago? Get out of my head, Charles! <laughs> but hey, at least no one says Jubilee's name out loud. That's an X-Men movie tradition. Oh! Watch all your favorite X-Men gather together in the background of another Mystique movie. Uh -huh. The villain who was proud of her blue skin is back, and now her character is the exact opposite because Jennifer Lawrence is super famous and she's really tired of sitting in makeup for hours on end. You. Yeah. Not blue? But she's not the only blue mutant with better things to do. Oscar Isaac's apocalypse has arrived, and he looks terrible. Thrill at his plan to become immortal by using the plot of the movie Cocoon while gathering the four strongest mutants of his age, or just whoever he happens to bump into, as he unleashes his powers of learning. <laughs> Disintegrating people with a single thought and never using that power again. Hmm. For a guy out to cleanse the world, you'd think he'd try that move more than once. Stop standing around and melt someone with your magic sand already! Ride along on this epic story of Apocalypse trying to conquer the world and the X-Men trying to stop him. And, uh, well, that's, that's it. That's, that's the whole plot right there. Mm. So if you love the X-Men movies, get ready, because this one is going through all the obligatory motions with another Wolverine origin, another Quicksilver sequence, another aborted Phoenix saga, and the old standby, Charles and Eric being friends, becoming enemies, and becoming friends again. What do you do when you wake up to that? You wake up to that? I feel a great swell of pity, of pity for, for the poor soul, soul who comes, comes to that school looking for trouble. Uh, Charles, your buddy there killed like millions of people this time. Oh. Maybe pick a new friend of me? Starring Ross and Rachel, Slumber Games, Blue on Blue Violence, All Filler No Thriller, The Opera Singer from the Fifth Element, Kid Vid, Sansa Storyline, Negasonic Teenage Dickhead, Featured Extras, and Featured It's Getting extra. Old Man Logan. Wow. X-Men Genesis. <laughs> well, at least we can all agree the third one's always the worst. Congratulations, you played yourself. Wow. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. <laughs> okay, that's kind of generally true. <laughs> And I just realized I think my face was covered up, but oh well. Anyways, that was my reaction, my thoughts. I hope y'all enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe. Peace.